name is Lee Japlinski. I'm from uh, Campbell Hall, New York. What I have here is uh, my creation. Uh, I call it Buford because it's part Buick, part Ford. Uh, it's a 1930 Buick uh, body that's mounted on a 1986 Ford F-250. Uh, obviously, it's modified. This was a uh, four-door, and I decided to make it a two-door. So I stole uh, four inches out of the rear doors, added it, moved the pillar back, and made a two-door. Uh, and the four truck that I had was uh, something that uh, the body was, was gone, but the uh, running gear was good and the engine was good, so I decided to make one car out of two. Uh, so I took about three feet out of the body of the 86 Ford F-250 and uh, married the two together and came up with Buford. I built this kind of um, not, not as a whim, um, it was because I wanted to build something and I didn't want to buy someone else's project, I wanted something that was unique and I guess it is unique because it um, has a diesel engine, 6.9 diesel international, uh, rear mounted radiator, um, it's got a lot of skulls and LED lights inside. Uh, has a fog machine uh, mounted underneath the uh, running board. It's got uh, LED lights underneath for uh, for night driving, kind of pulses. So it was just a fun project that I that I wanted to build, uh, and I started building it after I retired. Uh, not a, not a uh, I'm not a machinist. I'm not a, a mechanic. I'm not an electrician or a plumber. I'm a retired guidance counselor who always enjoyed cars always wanted one and wanted to build something that was low budget and unique. So this is what I came up with. Part two of it was I wanted to build something to drive to my 50th high school reunion, which was last summer in Hudson, New York, which was like an absolute blast. So what more can you ask of having a car? It's, uh, it's a fun, it's unique. Uh, I get a lot of looks. I spent 37 years as a counselor talking and uh, it gives me an opportunity to do the same at car shows. This is one of the better car shows in the area. Uh, I come here as often as I can because it has a huge number of cars, a huge number of people, and it seems like this thing just attracts all sorts. Men like it, car guys like it, women like it, kids like it. They can get in it, they can sit in it, they can look at it, um, you can touch it. It's not something that's, it's not a trailer queen. So, um, that's my car, called Buford. I'm Brian Betnar, this is my car. It's a Grabber Orange 1970 Boss Mustang 302. It's pretty much uh, stock. I've had it since 98. It's a great car, I don't know, it's, I think it's one of the best looking body styles of all the Mustangs, you know, 1970. Why do you like yeah. coming to the car show? Oh, you see so many different cars, a lot of pretty girls, you know. <laughs> it's a great night out, you know? Yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of cars. Steve Perrett, it's my daughter Kelsey. We're from Monroe. This is a 2017 Corvette Z06. And we love coming down here on Wednesday night. We've been doing it for a few years now something that Kelsey and I do together and just have a good time and uh, enjoy looking at all the different cars. How are you doing? Uh, my name is Ed India. I live in Garrison and uh, I have a 57 uh, four-door Townsman wagon that I pull my 57 Shasta vintage camper with. Uh, it's been upgraded. It's got a 350 in it with a cam and uh, air conditioning, power steering, power disc brakes, tilt wheel make it drive a little nicer and a little safer. And uh, if you want to take a look at the camper, we can go down that way and see what that's all about. It's been restored. It's a 57 Shasta. Uh, and it's pretty much the way it was in 1957. Well, I've been coming to this show for many years, but uh, I finally decided to do something different and bring a camper up here with a car. So that's why I'm here. I just thought it'd be a little different and it would be kind of a look back into the past on what we used to do in 1957. Okay, the, my name's Sam Sinan. I'm from Hyde Park, New York, and it's a 58 Triumph. I've had it now uh, 19 years, and I've been coming down here for 
probably three years. When I had gotten it, it, it was mechanically sound because the engine had been rebuilt and the transmission had been rebuilt. So th that, I drive it a lot, so that was important. So then over the years, I've restored little by little as I drove it. So just driving it creates enough maintenance that you're restoring it all the time. <laughs> it's a lot more fun to drive than work on, so. Usually when I have a project to do, I go for a ride first and never get the project done, so. Yeah, how's it going? Uh, my name is John Antonetti. Uh, from New York City, up west side of Manhattan, Washington Heights. Uh, my truck here is a 2016 Chevy Silverado 2500, 6.0 gas. Uh, we got a 10-inch FTS lift on it uh, with 40-inch uh, tires by fuel. Uh, the rims are the fuel cleavers, uh, 24 by 16. We actually put a, a five-bell train horn that's facing the back and stuff for the guys that like oh, hitting that, the horn telling me to move. Yeah, that's right. And uh, uh, we got a uh, cold air intake in the front, AFE. Uh, did a Diablo Sport tune, so after the tune I'm getting probably about 11.6 miles to the gallon. Um, heck, it's actually got a uh, police siren, one of the ones I used uh, from uh, my uh, second tour in Iraq. We ended up getting the uh, getting the siren, so I put it in this one, got the Rumbler 2 system, so it's pretty powerful uh, siren. I only use it at shows and stuff, uh, can't use it out in the street, it's illegal. Got a 40 and a 30 inch uh, light bar off-road uh, lights in the grill. And uh, got LEDs uh, for the fog lights. Got demon eyes that change colors uh, from uh, Color Works. Um, it's also got switchbacks uh, for the uh, turn signal. So they're white when just driving and uh, they turn uh, yellow when you turn on the signals. But other than that, she's fully loaded. I thought about doing something to the radio, but really it's loud enough from factory and it's got a good system, good bass. Um, and first time coming up to the uh, show here up at Bear Mountain, actually having a great time. I know this one is the last. Uh, so looking forward to coming up here, bringing some more friends, you know, talk them into coming and break up the monotony of the work week, uh, for them anyway, because I'm retired, retired military. My little buddy, Corazon which means heart in Spanish. Uh, he's more for emotional support for PTSD. And uh, this little guy's awesome. He's kept me out of all sorts of trouble. And he goes with me everywhere. I like to say it's his truck, he just lets me drive it. 